Hey, Sim here. Tableau have added some additional capabilities to control exactly who can use explained data. For authors, they've added a workbook level setting and for admins, they've added a site level setting. Let's take a look at both of those now. First, I'll go to a desktop setting. So I'll go over here to 2021.3 that I've got running on Windows. And essentially, if you go to the data uh, area up here, if I actually just show you this, you can go into two places to do this. If you go to the data up here, and go to the data source that you're talking about. And then you go to the explain data settings. You'll see that you get this little pop up. Um, hopefully <laughs> that pops up on screen. And there you go. You've got this allow explain data setting there that can be configured. Now you can tick that or deselect that and you're pretty much off to the races. So that's also a nice way to do this. I'm not sure if this was in the previous release, but I think this has been added in this release. Uh, the simple ability to go up here to the data settings, to the data source, and then go to the explain data setting there. The other thing you could do is you could actually go to a data point. So if you click on a data point here and get explain data to load, click on that. When explain data loads up, what you actually have the ability to do is you can go down to this little cog over here on the bottom right hand side. And when you've clicked on that cog, you can essentially open this up and you get the same control there. So there's slightly different ways of getting there, but uh, this isn't new. This was always there um, and available. So now what happens when we go over to server? Well, first I'll start with what server admins have the ability to do now. They can actually go to their settings. If you go to settings, then go to general and scroll down a bit, you'll see the availability of two features, ask data and explain data. And here you can essentially disable explain data. Now I'm on Tableau online. So when I do this, I'm disabling it for my whole entire entire Tableau online instance. Of course, each Tableau online instance is essentially one site. So on Tableau server, you actually have this setting for each available site on your setup. And when you've done that, you've ticked that box, you can go over here, click save, and you're pretty much done. So let's go ahead and hit save. And now that setting has been saved and we're pretty much good to go. Now, one other place you could obviously go is if we go over to a dashboard, now, this is sort of really interesting because you can kind of have permission control of explained data. So let's go ahead to any dashboard. I'm going to this 2020.2 release. I'll go to my Barrett. I'll go to my Barcelona Marathon Viz, sorry, and I'll go into the permissions control setting just here. And of course, if we go into those three dots and open up the permissions, you'll also find a new icon just here for explained data. So you can see here that I can set this up to essentially disable certain groups of users or certain people from running explained data on my visualization. This is super handy because essentially server admins can create some sort of uh, level of control at a site level and authors can actually give specific people, maybe managers, maybe uh, salespeople, maybe specific people who have sort of been trusted as champions, have gone through a training course or something like that to have access to explain data. So you know that they're using it in a good way. That's probably the most common use case for this. Uh, get people through a training course, add them to a group. Once they've been through the training course, they get into the group and now they can run this permission. That's probably going to be, I think, the most common use case initially um, as we start to use this. So uh, that's pretty much it. You can, you can now control explain data in so many different ways. You can do it in the workbook, you can do it in the permissions, and you can do it at a site level or on the Tableau Online instance if you're using Tableau Online. That's pretty much it for this. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Be sure to check out tableautim.com as well for all the other videos on this release and past releases as well. I'm sure you're going to like what you see there. Get stuck in.